Previously on The Walking Dead. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlon stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlon. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlon was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlon? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? All of you! 
You talked Marlon down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. No, he wouldn't do that. He'd never hurt any of you. It was... Marlon threatened us. AJ pointed the gun first. We get it, Louis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and... I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules. About who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. This is going to be hard. 
Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Time to go? Soon. <laughs> Still cool. <sighs> Ready? I did that. Come on. God, they're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Brody and Marlin. Tim said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. She was real sweet. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach, so I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. They just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, that's Tony. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Oh, 
What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. They take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. <coughs> Come here, sit down. No! It, it didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. I, I know that I was bad, but, but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <coughs> Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, 
I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Louis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave! They're gonna get rid of us! Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. Give it to him. Here, you can have it. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <laughs>
Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Really, I wish I could take you back, but I... I can't, Clem. Half of them are convinced you're as bad as Marlin or worse. If you came back, someone else might get hurt. I... I can't risk it, I'm sorry. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Thanks. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. Come on out. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. aren't you? Just walk away and we'll let you go. Closer. Your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. Uh, he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. 
How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. It's been a while. <gasps> Lily? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? I said, not now. Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. He was kind to me. Even after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have never let me stay with the group. It was too easy to steal the RV and leave. He had too much faith in other people. Probably why he kept you around. Probably why he didn't make it. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. It happened to Lee, and it'll happen to you. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run!
Follow. 